Howdy everybody and welcome back to the Mega Man tutorial. So last time we left off with setting up the death state for Woodman and we had a final object that we need to create the object level end. So let's get cracking on that today. Oh, there we go. Alright, so now that we're zoomed in, we need to create a uh, room object. Call it obj underscore level underscore end and open it up. We're going to give it a create and a step. There won't be too much going on into this. In fact, I think this is very similar to another uh, object that we set up for uh, uh, when the player dies or something. Anyways. <clears throat> Restart the room if uh, triggered and instance exist object death sphere. So, uh, once the death spheres go flying off the screen, then, so uh, if we haven't been triggered yet and the death spheres from the boss have gone flying off the screen, then trigger the level end music and click and uh, trigger. Then once you're triggered and the music level end is finished playing, destroy the player and create a teleporting out clone. So we destroy the player and at his uh, position create a teleporting out clone. Destroy the player and then of course destroy the level end object because we don't need it anymore. Come back over to our player objects and duplicate the object teleport in Mega Man. Just call it now object teleport out Mega Man. And we're going to gut some of this code here because we don't need nearly as much. It just means zeroed off FOD because it actually uh, is, starts animating as soon as it appears and tell it to start playing the teleporting sound as soon as it appears. And again, all this uh, stuff isn't really necessary because this was all stuff so that we could touch it down properly. Well, we're just tele teleporting off the screen. Uh, so once we teleport off the screen, we're pretty much done. So once we reach the end of the animation, then set the image speed to zero because now we'll be in the uh, little teleporting uh, look. Set the image index equal to zero. And the uh, V speed to negative eight. So we just use the built in V speed uh, variable. So we're just telling it to go fly off the screen at negative eight. Then once we reach Y, uh, so as long, so uh, if uh, Y is less than or equal to Y start minus 256, so once we've gone a full screen's height up from our starting position, then start the transition to the equip room and set the input state back to standard because if you remember correctly, we set the player's input state to uh, none back here when the uh, boss died. It doesn't matter if the input state is put back to standard at this point because Mega Man is gone, so there is nothing to interact with. And uh, you open up the menus through Mega Man, so if Mega Man isn't there, you can't open up menus or do anything to mess up the transition. So, let's give it a test. Thank <laughs> you. 
And there we go. Perfect. So uh, now that we are at the equip room, let's see, we're five minutes into this tutorial. So uh, we're moving along fairly well. So let's uh, close all these windows. We don't need any more rooms. Open up that get equipped room. And in our get equipped room, let me open it up on my other project here. We're going to have a single object, object get equipped. So create a uh, room object. Call it uh, obj underscore get underscore equipped. Go to sprite, nine slice. It's going to be the same as our other uh, menus. In fact, we're again going to just copy all the code from those. Let me open up the code for it over here. There we go. So like in our other rooms with uh, just a single object, we start off by telling our camera to fix. Then we uh, set a width and a height for our uh, nine slice. And we actually set up two because there's two nine slices that need to be drawn. Then we have this little uh, setup here. Equip text is zero, one, 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 five, dash W and then get equipped, that dash and then so on so forth. Uh, if you remember correctly, uh, let me uh, pop it open here. In our font map, we set up the dash right here, but the dash is actually a, so that's a, one away from the end. The dash is an arrow, so yeah. And we have a capital W, so yeah, we have arrow, capital W, arrow, backslash in, backslash in, those are uh, backslashes, so new line. Get equipped, new line, new line, with, new line, new line, leaf shield. And then uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What do I have? All of this erase stuff here. Uh, I'll figure it over uh, out in a second here. So we have a restart text. This demo is over. Press start to restart. I used a string literal here. So it uh, this backslash in here is the equivalent of me pressing the uh, enter right here twice. Selection zero, draw carrot, interval timer, interval speed, sound, Mega Man fade in timer. Uh, these ones are going to be unique because we have to fade in this uh, Mega Man object that takes on the appearance of the weapon that you get. Text timer, negative one. Color swap timer, negative one. Palette color is weapon.buster. And string underscore length, one. Because we uh, have to draw the string character by character. And of course, uh, start up our uh, get equipped music. Let's uh, pop open the draw event next. This should again be familiar. We draw those two nine slices I talked about right here. Then we draw that big Mega Man sprite I was talking about. We set our alpha to Mega Man Alpha, which starts off as uh, zero, so he fades in. And we use a palette swap here on this. So this is the uh, Mega Man weapon mod model. And we go, uh, we draw the sprite. Sub image zero, left one plus 24. So at the uh, nine slide here, this uh, nine slides plus 24, top plus 24. Palette swap reset based on whatever the palette color should be at that point. 
Otherwise, just draw them as normal. So if color underscore swap on your timer is greater than negative one, so when we are doing the little color swap thing, then we start drawing him according to the uh, palette swap. And then, of course, we set our alpha back to one and set up our font, H align, V align, font, color, text should be blank. If text timer is greater than negative one, then if text timer mod eight is equal to zero, string length plus plus. And the reason why we do this is because we're copying out into a uh, temporary variable this text from our, from this we are copying out. Ah, yeah, so equip text global dot new weapon. So whatever we have our new weapon set to, that's what we got it over here. So, uh, oh, yeah, I set these up because that's the uh, number that the uh, different weapons would have. So you could paste uh, whatever text you needed into each one of these to have the right text for each different weapon. So you only have to use one object instead of creating a new one for every single room. There we go. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. Then we have draw text, left one plus width one, and times is 0 0.5 minus 16. Top one plus 16 text that just uh, draws the uh, text to the right of the uh, Mega Man sprite slightly. But yeah, just on this, so every eight frames we increase the string length by one, so that will give us every eight frames we'll get another letter copied from the array that will then be drawn to the screen. And draw set align, FA center, because then we, uh, once the color swap timer is sec times one, so once the one second has passed since we did the palette swap, then we start drawing in the restart text. Uh, you would actually draw in like a uh, selection menu if you are doing this for a full on game, but that's the way it goes for this uh, tutorial. So last but not least, step event. Mega Man Alpha plus 0 0.2, or 0 0.02, so every 0 0.202 second frames. You know, every frame we get 0 0.02 to our alpha. Mega Man Alpha is greater than one, then start incrementing our text timer. And once our text timer is greater than sec times six, then start incrementing our color swap timer. And every four frames, swap it with a buster. And then uh, set it to uh, otherwise do uh, draw it as our new weapon. So whatever our new weapon is going to be, in this case, a leaf shield. So that gets to flicker between blue and green. But once our timer is greater than sec times one, then set palette color equal to new weapon. And if object input dot start pressed, then trade fade back to the stage select. All right then, so that should be everything we need to get this going. Wait, no, good thing I remembered at the last second there. We have to actually drop it into the room. There we go. All right, let's give it a try. This is literally how you beat Woodman in the actual game. You don't even have to move. You just keep shooting him from that position. You just got to jump over the leaf shield whenever he shoots it. There we go. Perfect. Everything is good to go.
Unfortunately, any enemy you choose goes back to Woodman. All right, everybody. Thank you for joining me for the Mega Man tutorial. I'm afraid that's all the code I got. So that is the end of the Mega Man tutorial. It was a great experience, uh, so stick around for the epilogue, which should be coming out in a couple of days, where I'll give you instructions for Patreon members on how to download and uh, enjoy the source code, and uh, for setting up some polls for what game we're going to do next, and other things that I'll uh, discuss in the epilogue. So uh, thank you everybody for joining me. I'm going to read some Patreon names. And remember, if you want to be in the Patreon name list, that will be in the source code that is presented to uh, Patreon members, then uh, this is your last opportunity before the uh, Mega Man source code is finalized. So, thank you everybody for joining me. I'd like to thank uh, Fragile Hearts, Kuru Patreon, Damien, Kenneth Klein, John Dickey, Vladimir Soltop and Vito Wang for your support of the NES Game Maker. Your support really helps and makes it a great, uh, opens up possibilities for the future. Thank you very much. Remember, if you have a question or comment, you can leave it behind in the uh, question in the comments section or join on the uh, Discord. Beyond that, uh, thank you everybody for joining me and good luck with your programming.